Tomorrow morning, the woman who was shot in the head near the rescue mission in Syracuse last Friday will be taken off life support. At the hospital, her family will gather with medical staff for an honor walk as 26-year-old Apriana Harris donates organs to save the lives of others. After being shot, she delivered a healthy baby boy. Tonight, her sister and brother-in-law have some things they'd like you to know about Apriana. They believe her life is about more than the way she died. Until now, her life and death has been a headline. Apriana Harris is the 26-year-old pregnant woman who was shot in the head in Syracuse. Her family knows she's much more than that. What is her headline? Apriana, the mother, the sister, the aunt, um, who had dreams and who also struggled with um, mental illness and substance abuse but who was also very loving, always laughing, always trying to get someone to laugh. Um, she had a good heart. Her sister and brother-in-law, Alicia and Thomas Carter, are grappling with the horrors that come when crime against a loved one becomes very public. They're taking comfort in memories from better times, when Apriana, mother of four, was a vital, helpful young woman who dreamed of becoming an actress and who made wonderful desserts, including peach cobbler, whose first love may very well have been high heel shoes. So when she was a teenager, she would come over to my house and try on all my shoes and she wanted them. <laughs> when she had lots of heels herself, she was just getting into them, but high heels, she loved them. <laughs> high heels. <laughs> yep. They think now of the successes she achieved and the struggles she endured. Apriana was always helping, but would also reject help sometimes. Childhood traumas took hold and couldn't be shaken. She lived with mental health disorders and struggled with substance abuse. The people out there who are shocked and horrified by this, but see elements of Apriana in a family member, of theirs, what do you say to those families who are still fighting this fight every day to try to latch on and grab hold of that struggling loved one? What do you keep say to those trying, folks? Keep trying, keep um, trying. Just don't give up. You never know um, when they may accept your help. Or when you might strike a chord with them. Right. You know, never miss an opportunity. Never miss an opportunity. To be like, come home. Never. Keep calling. Keep asking. That's right. Keep seeking. Keep on. Yeah. Would that be a good legacy for her in addition to her children? Would that be would that be good for you to know that someone hears that and and calls someone today? Yes. 100%. Absolutely. You know, um I think that <laughs> If it helps one person, that's something. That's something. Apriana's sister and brother-in-law say they don't know much about the man who's accused of shooting her. After she is taken off life support tomorrow morning, the charge against him will be elevated to murder. Prosecutors have said they believe she was trying to get away from him. And the family has started an online fundraiser to cover funeral expenses. We have that link at cnycentral.com.